Welcome back, Saints fans, to another Tuesday of CCA Summer League action. We're going to have the gold and the green team on the slate tonight. But before we get into that, we got myself, Daniel Jobin, alongside Miss Amanda. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good, Jobin. It's been a while yes. since I've been on a broadcast here, so I'm excited to be back. Yeah, I think last time we casted Byron, there was a lot of puns, so we'll see if, oh, uh, yeah. we'll see if things end up shaking out <laughs> the same way. But tonight we have saved. Both teams are going to be on the line. Gold is going to be up first, so they have an 0-3 record. They will be facing off against the 3-0 Arcadia Knights, so... Both teams have been struggling so far. Gold, they're trying to find their footing and get that first win, but running into the first seed in Arcadia, it was a team that kind of came out of nowhere. I think it's a team that some people had heard of before in the past, but they're really making a run out in Division 2 of CCA. They're, so far, they are the first seed. I think Gold is sitting at the 12th seed, so uphill battle, but we're going to have to hope Gold will be able to get pick up a win tonight. Yeah, it should be a little bit, like you said, of an uphill battle here, a little bit difficult for our Saints Gold squad, but, I mean, I have some faith. I think yes. they can do it. Yeah, it's a, the Gold team looking to get that first one. You know they're going to come out. They're probably going to come out super, super aggressive, which is something well, I like to see with the teams. But say, and that's the tricky thing is that when you have that zero, though, you're playing with a lot more pressure because you're just like, man, we just need to get the monkey off our back and just turn that zero into a one and try to get some momentum going. So gold going to be looking to do that tonight. And then a little bit later on, we're going to see the green team who also so far winless in the division one of the CCA. They're going to be running into that. I think the Stockton blue squad who say they have a lot of players that we've seen them in CRL. I believe they had a world spot as well. So this is a team that is not to be trifled with. They don't have a, as good record right now as it may have shown but I think they may have dropped uh, one or two games to Northwood as well which again usually is like kind of the caveat of it doesn't really matter so yeah green is also gonna have their run their uh, work cut out for them Stockton just so you know such a strong team yeah Stockton is one of those teams that you hear the name and kind of like Northwood you get a little nervous yeah. you know you get a little sweaty <laughs> so I think it could be a bit of a difficult uh challenge there for Saints but you know not impossible yeah no both teams say it the tasks aren't impossible, but they are definitely high up on the list of uh, things that are going to be challenging to overcome. So both teams, good luck to come out and say, finally get their first one. I think gold will be consisting of, I think it'll be Vitaly, Spoods, and Comp. Will be, or no, Comp, Spoods, and Nitrix will be the gold team. And then green will be Kamal, Raman, and Vitaly. So going to be seeing the same lineups we've seen the last little while. Both teams trying to get back on track. Just hard, having a hard time finding their footing. Even from the CCA qualifiers, we saw them... We saw a much less dominant version of the Saints than we saw the last couple months running into Worlds and everything. So we did see some roster changes. We did see some things get shaken up. So maybe the CRL Worlds hangover is kind of a thing amongst the whole school between the green and the gold roster. So both teams are going to be looking to get back in that one calm today and try to get this momentum going into the season. Absolutely. You know, maybe we'll see our first uh, Saints Rocket League win in uh, CCA today. Yes, same. Hopefully we can get both teams on the board. It'd be very nice to have t to get both of those zeros off the board tonight, move up in those standings and try to make a push as we get on. I think we're in week two right now as we push on further and further in the season. Because say, it's okay if you start slow, especially week one and week two, if you play like a Northwood and a Stock, that it's okay to go 0-2-0-3. But getting later and later in CCA, especially with teams like, I think one team we saw before is Miami University is a team that came out of nowhere in the qualifiers and just steamrolled every single team. And I think they're still one of the top seeds. Then you have a team like Arcadia in the other division, 3-0, a team no one had really seen or heard of as much that say they weren't in CRL, they weren't in Rolls or anything, and then they just come out and they're absolutely crushing CCA so far. So both teams, very, very tall order, and hopefully we'll be able to get into action in a couple minutes here. So I think the players are just hopefully getting loaded in a few minutes here. Yep, looks like uh, we're about to get into the lobby soon, but... Uh... While we wait here, is there anything, any predictions, anything you think is going to happen, Jovan? Um, okay, I'm going to be a little conservative on this one. I'm going to say that Gold is most likely going to drop this series. I'm going to, I'll say, I'm going to go 3-1 Arcadia. I know it might be a little blasphemous sitting in, in the Saints booth to do that, but just based on what we've seen so far from the Gold roster and from Arcadia, and this is, this is more of a, a credit to Arcadia and just how well they played. And when you're playing and no one kind of knows about you, it's almost like an underdog story, even though they are the one seed. It's like, this is a team that no one really expected to be there so far, but they've just been knocking off good team after a good team and when you get going on a run like that it is extremely hard to stop those breaks oh absolutely i kind of agree with you there i feel like a 3-1 could be very possible to see t tonight uh for in favor of arcadia i mean a 3-2 would be wonderful to see for yeah. saints uh even if it was the other way around for saints you know a 3-1 3-2 yeah. whatever in their favor but uh, I feel like a 3-1 in favor of Arcadia is our most likely option. Yeah. And I think the most important thing for these games is that Saints just get get some building blocks that you can take forward going into next week and into each next game because you don't want to come out and get 0-3 and nothing goes right. So now you're sitting at 0-4 and you really don't have anything that you're like, okay, we did this well. We patched up these mistakes. Now we kind of have an idea of where we should shift our team focus moving forward. You just, you're kind of sitting there in that weird, that weird purgatory of like, uh-oh, like, Nothing's really worked through a couple of weeks. Teams have maybe kind of figured us out a little bit. So to get these wins, and even if you're not able to pick up wins, just play a really strong series, play the game that you know you're able to play, and then just try to bring that momentum forward. And that'll be the same for the green squad as well. 
say, and we'll talk about the green squad and the gold squad in just a couple minutes. Gonna wait a few more minutes to get into lobby, but we will go to a very quick break and we will catch you guys in a few minutes. And just as we had hoped, a very nice and quick break, and we're going to get into Game 1, Saints Gold against the Arcadian Knights. The 12th seed Golden Saints against the 1st seeded Arcadian Knights sitting at 3-0. It will be Spoods, Nitrix, and Comp against Not Owl, Autumn, and Space Beer. So Spoods going to start things off with a quick demo here a few seconds in, and we are underway. Yep, the ball is in the blue side of the field here. Saints need to get this out if they want a chance. And as I say that, Spoods is going to kick it over to the orange side although he will be stopped dead in his tracks. Yeah, a little bit of back and forth. These early games are not always as crazy as, say, Rocket League. Sometimes you get a goal in six or seven seconds, and sometimes a little more setup. Quick shot at the net. Comp is going to get the double touch, unable to find the hole. Spoods is going to get the follow-up, unable to close out. Space Beer is going to make the epic save there. Spoods off the little touch from Nitrix. Nitrix with another touch. Going to go off the crossbar. Saints are pressing early, and this is something you really love to see. The Saints, they play extremely well when they're able to keep that ball on the other end and force feed each other in front of the net, and so far, just getting a lot of shots in net. Really, really good start. Absolutely, and I mean, oh, Saints are Ooh, having, close. oh, that was a really close call there. I know this uh, team composition is a little bit new. I mean, we saw it at CRL uh, or Worlds for yep. that matter, right? But uh, it's interesting to see them play here again. Yeah, say so it's always a change, especially when you switch out Nitrix to being a more, a more like permanent, consistent spot. Now, say he's played extremely, extremely well. The Saints just haven't been able to put together that full series to get wins. They pay, they've taken games off of teams, but just putting together those three games to win in a row that you need to take the series. They just haven't found a way to do so yet, but so far, looking not too worse for Arcade. Going to try to chip it into the corner. Spoods, going to get that little challenge out. Going to flip it up to Comp. Comp going to do a little bit of air dribbling toward mid. It will be stopped by Autumn. Going to try to replay it up. Not out. We'll put it up. We'll get the double touch off the wall, trying to find the back. They're not able to do so. Comp will clear it over mid. And so far, minute 40 through. A lot of shots, but no goals yet. Yeah, just kind of a little bit of back and forth, you know. Uh, they'll throw it over to one side and then to the other. Nothing really getting too, too close. Although, as I say that, <laughs> Autumn almost uh, stopped the ball from going into Saints net there. That's how Rocket League is. The second the ball is on the other end, you think it couldn't possibly end up back then. Then you're like, oh my god, if all of a sudden balls across the goal line, two epic saves come through. Nitrix is going to get a little bit of an air dribble. Autumn is going to be for the, for the touch. Comp is going to try to find something over the middle of the field. Space Beer is going to get the chip. Great little chip shot by Autumn as well, but Spoots will get back there in time for the save. Space Beer going to be chasing that back toward mid, try to find something. The Saints will get a decent crack at the net there, but will be easily kicked away by Autumn. And now Saints still have decent zone pressure. Autumn with another chip there. Just Autumn so far playing that back line. Very, very strong. Not letting St. Clair get anything really started in the corner there. Absolutely. Spoods is going to try to keep this on the orange side. Uh, Saints going to try to go comp, and comp scores. And just like that, Spoods, great touch. Comp going to find the finish, and St. Clair looking very, very strong to start this game off. And Arcadia say, maybe a little bit surprised how the Saints come out with the level of aggression and just so many shots to the net. And then Rocket League, the more you can pepper that net, there's a very, very high chance you're going to get a rebound. Someone's going to miss a flip. Someone's not going to have boots, and you're going to feel to find that ball in the back of the net. And Saints, with a dream start so far, two and a half minutes in, halfway through the game, they do hold that one nothing lead. Absolutely, and that's great for your mental as well. You know, when yes. you're down 0-3 so far in this season, uh, uh, in, in the season. In the season. Yeah, the CCA season. <laughs> CCA season. That's a tongue twister right there for you. Uh, Comp going to try to go for another score here. Nitrix going to pick it up. Nothing yet, though. Spoods. Oh, and Spoods is actually going to get that. Wow. So Nitrix, yeah, had a little double touch off the ceiling. Try, couldn't, c couldn't, uh, let's say, couldn't, uh, commit off the crossbar there, but Spoots waiting in the wings. Two members of Arcadia looked like they were going to chase that ball, and Spoots doesn't get much easier than that. Going to put that one in the bottom left corner. Now St. Clair 
25 seconds later, they've got themselves a two-goal cushion, and now just got to try to close this game out. You played really, really well. I want to see them. This is where I call, this is the type of the game where I call controlled chaos or like controlled aggression, where you want to look like you're playing like a like a, like a a freak show and you want to like send a lot of stuff towards the net, but you also want to make sure don't give up a free goal on that back one because Arcadia could very easily get back in this game. Absolutely. I mean, here we're seeing uh, Autumn and Spoods were kind of just tussling it out. Yeah. But I mean, uh, Arcadia does have a chance here to, to score if Saints are not careful. Nitrix trying to get it out of there. He manages to get it over to the orange side here. He's going to try to go for a score, I think. Comp may maybe going to try to pick that up, but it looks like they're still kind of tussling out in the middle here. Yeah, great shot there by Arcadia. Space Fear is trying to get the double commit now. Spoots was able to make the save, but Pinch not going to go his way. Going to go toward the left side. Comp is going to be there for the 50. Ball will pop up. Comp, once again, going to win the 50 there. Going to chip it ahead. Spoots going to try to get the shot on that. Space Fear will be there for the save on the quick flip. Nitrix going to try to set something up now. Get it toward the net. Not out. We'll get the clear toward the corner. Saints are going to try to push this midline. They will keep it in. Comp. Still pushing, going off the crossbar. Might have a decent crack of the net here. All the members of Arcadia missing it will go off the crossbar, but St. Clair just keeping this ball buried in Arcadia's end so far and just one minute to play now to try to close out game one. Well, that's what you want to do, right? You want to make sure it's nowhere near your net so they don't even have a chance yeah. to come back here. Yeah, the, the hard goals to save are the ones that those ones that they keep off the post, off the crossbar, a bunch of those rebounds where you're going to be out of position. But those long chip shots, at least you have some time to get back, get some boost, try to assess like what angles are going to come from, who's running in front of the net. And St. Clair, just defense and offense looking very, very solid so far. And pretty like limiting Arcadia's chances. And then when they get on the offensive end, just doing such a good job of just exploiting the small weaknesses they see. And Autumn going to do a nice little setup there, but unable to find the back of the net. And now, just 23 seconds. If St. Clair can kill 10 to 15 seconds, I would suspect they'll walk away with a game one victory. Absolutely, and that would be great for Saints. You know, the mental, like I said, it's very much a mental game. Nitrix Ooh. is going to demo Space Beer here, actually. 10 seconds remaining. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, Jovan, but... I, I won't quite yet. When there's three seconds left, I'll say something. The ball will go across the goal line. Spoods will get the demo. Comp, demo, comp will get demoed. Lots of demos coming through. Clock ticks down to one, and at very least, St. Clair will take it two to one. Looking more like 2-0. Ball will off the post. Not all I'm able to convert. And St. Clair will shut out Arcadia in game one. So the 12 seed so far upsetting the one seed. And that was such a fantastic game from the gold squad. Everything looked like it was going well for them. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, that was not something that we were expecting, especially like when you have the 12 seed and the one seed yep. going up against each other. You think it's going to be a stomp in one yep. direction, <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. So it was interesting to see. It was very much back and forth that whole game until yep. uh, I think it was Comp and Nitrix managed to get a goal Yeah, each. they connected, yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty good for them, and it looks like we're going to go into the next game here in our series. Yeah, St. Clair going to look to repeat that game one performance. Arcadia going to look to try to find the back of the net at least once. It is very, very hard to win a game with zero goals. Some would say impossible, so yep. going to look to try to find one there at least. Saints are going to come out comp. We'll chip it up towards Spoods off the ceiling. Another little double tap, double commit by the Saints. Unfortunately, Nitrix will get the shot, but comp will get demoed in the process. Now, Autumn might have a decent shot at the net here. A little flip reset. Comp comes through with a huge save. Keep this thing deadlocked at zero. Saints still getting pressured in the back end. Comp did get the demo. Spoods going to try to air dribble it. Walk, walk it over mid. We'll get the fake. Try to redirect. Unable to do so. Nitrix is going to be there for the follow. Saints still pressing in this zone. Going to try to set something up. Comp is going to be there off the pass from Nitrix. Unable to do anything with it. As I say that, though, just not enough boost to get that speed on the ball. Spoods is going to cycle it back. So we're seeing a lot more of the same from game two so far than the Saints. Absolutely. It looks like Nitrix is trying to find a spot here, but not really having any luck. Are we seeing a triple commit here from the Saints? I think we've seen double or triple commits from both teams a couple of times. And that ball gets stagnated in the corner. Both teams are going to send back and forth for it. Autumn had a fantastic shot there and Comp immediately there to rip it off the front of the car. Demo will come through on Space Beer. And Nitrix can try to set up Spoods. Spoods will maybe try to find a second passer or get the shot. He will end up getting the demo though on his way down. And the shot will go top corner. Space Beer will end up coming across for the save. So really, really high pace of play so far from both teams. Just shots going back and forth. Absolutely. I wonder if there was maybe a little bit of a case of, uh, oh my goodness, is he going to actually get this? Spoods scores! Spoods with that fantastic drive off the top of the net. Able to easily clean it up. And St. Clair just finding every way to get it done right now. That was a fantastic setup. Autumn, Absolutely. Autumn just stuck in the net there, no boost, and that is such a tough angle to play when the ball is directly above your head and you can't really boost towards it, and Comp is coming in 100 miles an hour, breathing down your neck, just very, very tough for Arcadia, and that's just, the Saints are just making it tough for Arcadia to, to generate like a lot of consistent offense, and so far, so good for the Saints. Absolutely. I think it might have been a little bit of a case of like underestimating the Saints at first. But, you know, they always do go marching in, so... Yeah, <laughs> they do indeed. Not Al is going to get that back tap. Comp going to try to get that little reverse tap as well. We'll get just a little piece of it. Space, we're going to try to get the reset there. We'll get the flip through. 
Ball will get dumped back into Arcadia's corner. Autumn going to try to set something up over mid here. We'll get the pass through one. Comp is going to get the touch there. Good, a little double commit Spooz. Make sure not hit it on the way back. Comp will just chip it up into the corner. Nitrix will be there to play it. Maybe try to find something off the ceiling. Will he be able to find Spooz? Not quite how they wanted. However, oh. that slow roller almost able to squeak through the defense. Now Comp going to try to find something. Spooz is going to come through the air dribble. Try to find the touch. Comp is going to get the touch from Spooz. Nitrix will end up getting demoed. So maybe Arcadia able to clear it and get some breathing room. But our fourth back toward their own net. So And Spooz going to get a shot. So Arcadia looks a little bit flustered right now. Oh, this could be it. Oh, never mind. Actually, we're going to have Autumn stop that. Autumn has been a strong player this entire yeah. game. We're seeing him go defense, offense, playing every single angle. Yeah, I think the Saints could easily have two or three extra goals, if not for Autumn, just in the first two games alone. He has played so strong in that back line. But the thing with Arcadia is playing the back line is fantastic and all, but if you can't get anything going on the other end, you're just basically letting him, like, you're basically being the punching bag or, like, the nail, as we say, the hammer and the nail. And the Saints mm -hmm. are just hammering away at the net over and over and over. And eventually that nail is going to be stuck in the board in Arcadia. they got to try to find some way to generate offense, whether it's consistently or try to find some flashy, musty flip reset play because right now the Saints just making them draw blanks so far. And although, say credit to the Saints, so when that ball is buried in your end the entire game, there's not a whole lot of plays you can make with it. And the Saints just getting that boost start and trying to play it off. But Autumn is going to try to get a little quick flip through middle. Spoods is going to be there for the interception. He will get them with a midair, but quick little reset and he will be there back to save the ball. Comp going to save this here. You know, from getting too close to that net, we don't want that in, uh, you know, in Saints' mindset here. Yep. Um, however, Space Beer looking to try to make something happen, get it away from the Saints if he can. Yeah, and it's just, I, I think it's maybe the biggest thing for Arcadia, their biggest issue might just be the ball movement so far. They can't seem to get more than two to three passes together without the Saints either intercepting it, challenging and getting a 50, or just straight up taking the ball the other direction, although... Spacer is going to try to get a little solo effort. Look at the demo on Nitrix with Spoods. Little flip of his own off the crossbar. Double Ooh. touch goes a little bit too high. Just unable to find the back of the net. But Spoods almost there to break this one and break this one wide open to the 2-0 lead. And now Spacer is going to try to get that little quick, trot, quick touch to the right side. Spoods It's going to be there for the deny. Not Owl. It's going to try to set that one up. The Saints playing off this back foot. Only one minute to go. So Arcadia, you know they're feeling the heat. Because if you go down 2-0 in any of these series in CCA, it's not all but good night. But man, it, it's, it's not easy to come back from. And another shot at the net there. Autumn doesn't get the touch he probably wants there. Comp Ooh. will, however, and Space are going to come across for the save, so the Saints are absolutely humming right now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're seeing Space Beer come out of nowhere here, just going offense, defense, all over the place, trying to get a goal in the last 30 seconds. Yep. The Saints, so far, I'd say you don't ever want to jinx the S-word when you're talking about sports, so I'm not going to go that as far as that yet, but 30 seconds left, Saints looking very, very strong on both ends. Like, Every challenge just looks so deliberate. It looks like they're in the right place at the right time. They're ready to make the right play. They're, they're being willing passers. No one's trying to be too flashy and go coast to coast and make these one-man army plays. They just take what take what Arcadia is giving you, which admittedly hasn't been much. The Saints have had a lot of shots for only scoring three goals total these games. Spoods is going to be there on the misfire. Great job by Autumn to get the shot, but Comp will get the save. And now just five seconds left from the Saints having a 2-0 series lead so far. It will get touched up toward mid, and it looks like the ball. Maybe one more chance for Arcadia here before it falls. Spoods is going to try to get this one on the ground. Nice little soft touch Ooh. into the corner. Not Owl. Going to save it for the time being. Still zeros on the clock. Arcadia gets a shot off the crossbar. Autumn going to try to get the follow. Comp is going to get the double touch. The ball finally drops, and St. Clair with a nail biter takes the second game of the series, and now they are on the verge of upsetting the number one seed in CCA Division Two with a one nothing lead in game two. That was definitely not what we were expecting, wow. Jovan. I mean, our prediction was three one in favor of Wow, Arcadia. I look dumb. Immediately <laughs> I do wrong. Too. Five minutes I do in, too. I look wrong. Or I am wrong. Yep. So uh, yeah, we were expecting a three one in favor of Arcadia, but now like. We might see a 3-0 in favor of Saints unless we see a major upset. I'll say, Arcadia, you have to find a way to get the ball in the back of the net, both for morale and obviously to get on the scoreboard and win a game because, as I jokingly said earlier, you cannot win if you don't score. It's very simple. It works for every sport, every eSport. If you have zero on the board, you physically cannot win the game. So, Arcadia, that's the biggest thing you have to worry about. Their defense has been really, really good. You only help the Saints to two goals and one goal. So, it's not like you're asking for a ton on the offensive end. Great that the Saints have been, like, stalwarts defensively, but Arcadia, you have to find the back of the net, whether it's through motion plays, trying to drive and kick or something. You just have to find some way to break the Saints line. Absolutely. We're seeing uh, Space Beer here. Going to try to take the ball over to Saints net. Doing a pretty good job so far, just kind of twisting through the air. But it looks like Arcadia wow. might actually have a chance here. Looks like Comp's going to get demoed as well. Space Beer trying to make something happen. Yeah, space for a nice little start. Had a couple cute little back taps there, trying to get a couple shots. Then at Arcadia, this is what I meant: getting a little creative with the passing, little pass back across the crease, send it for a back tap. Just try it, anything different at this point, because so far nothing really has been working in the Saints. 
to say, they've been such high tempo games. We've seen so many shots, so many back and forth. So for Arcadia to not have any goals yet is honestly really surprising. And also, this means if I'm the Saints and Arcadia does put one on the board, don't fret. Don't get worried about it. Listen, it's like they're probably due for one at some point. So you want to make sure that you're just prepared for it if it happens. Ooh. And just as I say, Not Owl will finally bury one for Arcadia. And they will finally be on the board in game three and have a one nothing lead one minute in. That is exactly what Arcadia needed yeah. was that little mental boost. You know, now they get one. If yeah. They're back on the board, you yeah. know. If there is a chance for a reverse sweep here, like I said. I mean, you never want to jinx it. But. <laughs> yeah, and seeing to get one early in the game is nice too, because if it gets down to like one minute left, then you feel the pressure of like the series is about to fall away here. Autumn is going to get the solo Ooh. dribble. Great job to kick that one away on the right side by Spooz. Not out with another crack of the net. So Arcadia now pressed in the action. This offense looks totally reinvigorated. Once they get that one goal, smell blood in the water and try to send it back and forth. Space Beer is going to try for the setup, not Owl. No boost to really keep doing anything with that. It's going to reset for Space Beer. Going to try to get the air dribble. Nitrix with the contest. Spoods is going to try to get the 50. Autumn will get there first and try to make a play toward the net here. Great little flip shot. Able to find the back of the net. And Spoods going to try to get the follow on Space Beer. But Arcadia just absolutely breathing down the Saints next this last minute or so. We are seeing a totally different Arcadia now. Oh my goodness, Saints might actually oh, no. Get this. Oh, just too little, too late for comp there. No boost to actually make that happen. Autumn gonna actually dribble straight down mid wow. here. Just a lot of back and forth dribbling right down mid, but it seems to be working for both teams. Say, it's just the comp is blue is unable. Just no boost to get that goal. That was pretty much a free one. So if you're St. Clair, you might be kicking yourself a little bit, but hey, you have three minutes. You have a 2 nothing lead. Just don't take your foot off the gas. No pun intended as usual. <laughs> Great shot by comp there. Autumn is going to come across to the epic save. Comp going to try to keep playing this one across the midline. Nitrix going to be there for support, it looks like. Or actually, Spoods will come up to play it. Nitrix is going to play it off the right side wall now. Maybe try to take something up with it. We'll end up getting through the 50. Going to try to set something up. The chip will come through above the net, though, unable to find the home. And now Autumn going to get that back tap toward the Saints corner. Spoods is going to be there to play it. Try to kick it out toward middle. Great little shot off the ceiling. Now Nitrix going to try to set something up. Not going to go back to the double tap. Spoods is going to be there. Set up. Maybe comp in the back line there. And Arcadia, this is a whole different squad we saw from the first two games. So if you're St. Clair, just keep that tempo up. And then, like we said, just find a way to get consistent chances and get this goal back. Absolutely. Their offense right now, oh my goodness, their Ooh. offense right now is just terrifying. Yeah. I mean, Nitrix oh. is going to dribble it up towards the goal, and wow. he's actually going to score that. It looked like he was going to hit it off the post. Yeah. But, I mean, he managed to get that in. You can see just how close that was here. You see him kick it just past one of the Arcadia members. Wow. And then bounce right into the goal. Yeah, got that perfect angle off the post. Might have actually messed up the Arcadia defender. Ball hits the post, ricochets to the left, but Nitrix, between a rock and a hard place, able to find the back of the net. And now St. Clair, you get that goal back a minute and a half later, and now you feel like you're ready. Although Arcadia, not, not going to take that one to heart. They're going to come right back down and try to put it back in the Saints net. They're going to get a couple cracks at the net. Great job to challenge there in front of the net, but I believe it was Space Beer, but unable to find the back of the Spoods with a great little touch toward middle. Going to try to do something else. Great little fake by Spoods. Going to try to convert, but unable to do so. Autumn with a great save, and then Space Beer. Going to get the demo. Autumn going to try to take it over mid here. Will get challenged across mid by one of the Saints. Not Owl. Got 40 boost. Going to try to make something happen in the corner. Will run out of boost. Spoods will win the 50, chips it toward mid. Now the Saints, you have a minute 40. You know you have the series on the line here. So if you're St. Clair, I'd be willing to maybe take one or two chances to try to get a goal because you know you have those two games in hand, but I wouldn't do anything like outright stupid to try to get it. Oh, absolutely. We see Comp is trying to make something happen over here. Spoods going to help him out. Although not Owl has different plans. Ball does go back towards the side of Arcadia, though. Actually, now we're going back over towards the side of Saints. It is a tussle in mid. Yeah, a little bit of volleyball or tennis action just... Bouncing it back and forth across that midline. And both teams trying to hold that, trying to get these chances in the other zone. Spoods going to get a great job on the chip there. Autumn is going to win the 50. The ball just not going to go in above the crossbar. Great little double touch. Not able to find the home. And now Spoods going to chip it over mid. None of the Saints there to pick it up. So Arcadia will chip it back into the Saints zone. Not Owl. Going to go across mid and able to get the touch. Autumn once again. Great touch towards the net. But just Arcadia just peppering all around the net right now. Just unable to find the back of the net for the second time. Nitrix will come through with the save. Spoods going to try to get the chip out. And if you're St. Clair though, I would say taking this into overtime, Arcadia seems to have a lot of momentum. Ooh. That was a great shot of pinch by Autumn. It looks like one of the Saints maybe contributed, but if you're Arcadia, you will absolutely take it. 43 seconds left, and you might have some life in this series. That was a nice that goal was, by Autumn yeah. there. Look at that. He off pinched the post it to the left. onto the ground. Wow. Off the post. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Quite an angle there from Autumn. Going to get Arcadia with their first lead of the series and first time. Say they got two goals in Game 3 now. And if you're St. Clair, you do have time to answer. 
But, however, Arcadia has looked so much better in Game 3, but you don't want to let Arcadia have too much momentum going into Game 4 if it ends up being the case. So, just try to come back, maybe get one or two shots. You still have a chance to take this game and steal it. Arcadia is going to try to chip it toward mid. Spacer is going to be there for a great shot at the net. Comp is going to kick that one away in the top right corner. Now, Saints got to try to break something out. Comp will get demo, though. That will shut down the breakout for the time being. Great little touch off the side of the net, but not Owl. Unable to get a good shot at it. Spoots is going to run forward with it. Looks like he maybe doesn't have a defender. Oh. Going to get the fake and the flip, and it will get denied by Space Group. The Saints are still pressing on. And Autumn is going to try to kick it out. Spoots is going to be there for the challenge. The Saints have one more shot at this one before Three, this one two, goes to zeros. One. Comp is going to flip it up. Ball trickling over mid. Nitrous going to try to win the 50. Comp, 27 boosts, got to try to make something happen. Spoots is going to be there for the touch. Above the defender, will they be able to find the double touch? No and they will! Nitrox able to bury it on the bottom of the net. Spoots with a great play off the ceiling. And the Saints will even it at zeros, and we are going to overtime in game three. Overtime in game three? There was wow. no... How did he do... Th there was no way he was supposed to do that. You put, like put the ball between five cars and watch it play pinball. That sucker goes <laughs> in the back of the net, and now... Arcadia, you have to be feeling rough after that one. You thought you oh, finally yeah. stole a game. You got back in the series. Now, just like that, St. Clair says, hold my beer. And they're able to get that goal back right away. Spood's going to be there for the 50. Autumn with a great shot on net. So Arcadia, once again, just back to this pressure. And St. Clair, you got to try to find a way to break it up. Because as soon as they broke it up last time, they're able to find a goal. St. Clair really said, hold my space beer. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I've tried Aren't to avoid, you glad I'm I tried back, to avoid that one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> We're going to see St. Clair actually doing a pretty good job of keeping this in the orange zone. Nitrix is going to take a shot, Ooh. but it's not going to land. Comp and Spoon's going to try to make this happen, but Space Beer is going to knock it away. Yeah, a couple double commits from both teams there, so Comp is going to be on that back line. Nitrix was there to rotate, so might be a little touch off the ceiling here. Great job by Nitrix to kick it up, but it did go back right in front of the net. Great job by Spoon's to break it up, but seeing so many double commits from both teams, I just think something's going to give sooner or later. Great little Ooh, touch by, by Not nice. Owl, and Space Beer will be there in front of the net to finish it. Fantastic passing play by Arcadia, and they will take game three and cut the series lead to two to one. They will live to fight another day. Did I jinx the reverse sweep, Jobin? I'm a little uh, I mean, they were, <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were due for one, I think. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, they were playing really well. They just It's one of those things where it's, it got to be frustrating because you're playing so well and you just can't really find a way to get back in the net. You're like, man, we have, we've had a lot of shots at net. We've had a lot of good breakout plays, and we just can't find a way to score. And then finally, you score one, you score a couple, and say the mental fortitude to come back with the Saints score at zeros and you're like oh man are you kidding me like we're gonna have to do this we're gonna have to run this back and possibly go down 3-0 and end up exiting the series now but they get that one they're totally back in the series now they do have momentum that was a much better and cleaner game from them and say hopefully we'll have to see what game four has in store soon enough I think one of the players might have got disconnected from one of the sides so we'll have to maybe wait a minute or two here and see when they get loaded back in but gold great start so far Absolutely. I mean, that goal by Nitrix at the end, yeah. like, leading it into OT was insane. I could not have expected that whatsoever. I was expecting, okay, ball's going to go hit the ground, and then we're going to go into the next game. Yep. But nope, that's not what happened. Nitrix had different plans, so that yep. was very interesting uh, overtime. Uh, little maneuver he had yeah, going on. Yeah, and whenever there. there's zero seconds on the clock for more than like 15 or 20 seconds, I know both teams are like so nervous. They're like, man, like <laughs> I know someone's going to get nervous and mess up and there's a very strong chance that one team is going to go home very, very sad. But Arcadia able to hold on their credits and they did a great job of bouncing back. Offense looked completely transformed from the first two games. So St. Clair now going to look for their own answer. Comp going to start things off a little chip over mid. Not a lot of boost to play with. Autumn is going to be there for the interception. Going to try to find that early goal with a little musty flip there. Unable to find the back of the net. So Arcadia once again pressing the action shooting all over the net right now comp is going to get that chip over middle now space beer going to be underneath looking for the contest comp with a great dribble through the air not owl going to be there for the save two saints driving on that wall there's smooth going to try to find looks like nitrix over the middle great little contest from space your ball is floating in front of the crease so so arcadia and saints a little back and forth so far a couple good shots from both teams looks like nitrix and comp are trying to set something up here but autumn does not want that to happen spood's gonna try to jump up get it but falls short here not owl dribbling it up towards the saints net can he get anything Ooh. no playing with fire pass to get in front of the net the saints have to find a way to get this ball because arcadia when they showed that they put that pressure on that was a great little touch from spoods to clear that out that would have been nightmare scenario for st Clair and spoods able to just hold that back on there doesn't get credit for a save but let it be known, that definitely was worth a save. And now Space Beer going to be playing that back line, trying to find a little cherry pick action on the front end. Spoods is going to be there for the touch. Ball Ooh. goes toward the net. Not Owl is going to be there for the save, but Saints might get a second crack. Actually, not actually not or not Owl will save it. Autumn going to be there for the little flip. Saints going to try to put this one over mid. Spoods with a nice little touch, and two members of Arcadia there to play it back, but the Saints do have offensive zone time now. Comp trying to make something work here, but not Owl is going to move this away. 
It looks like Spoods was up there close. Oh my Ooh. goodness, we saw Spoods do an epic save there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Spoods coming out of nowhere, able to get the flip save there. Nitrix is going to be there to play that backline space drill. A nice little double touch. Arcadia, once again, just able to get those little touches that just keep the ball in the end. The Saints, it uh, looks like they have a really clean shot at it, and then just that little touch off a of back tire. Great shot of the net, not Owl. Going to get denied by Comp, so... Man, if you're the Saints, you have to get this ball because Arcadia is absolutely pressing right now. And based on what we saw last game, although, whoever, good little flip shot. Not enough speed on it, not Owl. Going to play it up towards Space Pure off the ceiling. Arcadia, not a lot of boost, so going to try to find something. Comp is going to try to play this out of the corner. We'll end up winning the 50 for the time being. Two Saints run into each other. Autumn is going to get the shot off. Now it looks like not Owl will come up and maybe have another crack at the net. Great job defeated underneath, and Autumn just unable to find the back of the net. So, so far, 0 0, though. So, if you're the Saints, you're still okay with this, all things considered. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, Arcadia, they got that one game under their belt, yeah. and now they are out for blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once you see it go in once or twice, you're like, okay, now we know we can score for sure. And then everything can just start to flow after that. You can just start to play a little more free. Space Beer going to chip it across the middle. Spoods going to knock that one back for a minute. Going to get the air dribble. Double demo going to come through. So a little two-on-two -two action for a few seconds. Maybe it'll favor the Saints. Unable to get over there in time. The Autumn with a great touch. Nitrix is going to lose the 50. The ball will go back to the Saints corner. Those Spoods is going to be there with a lot of boost to play. Great job by Space Beer on the interception. Now comp. Going to try to play this one out of the corner. Arcadia just doing a fantastic job of keeping things pressed up in those corners. Nitrix going to try to get the little half flip there. Will end up getting a piece of it and gets the demo, but no Saints able to follow with a great clear by Arcadia. Comp going to go off the wall. They're going to try to find something. Great little back touch. Nitrix is going to play it up again. Another 50 win for the Saints, so maybe they can make something happen. Comp going to come across the middle there and will find it in the back corner. Comp and Nitrix connecting once again. And St. Clair with a 1-0 lead with just a minute 40 to go in game four. Yeah, we had a couple minutes there of no goals whatsoever. And yeah. then all of a sudden, Comp's like, okay, I'm tired of this. Yeah. <laughs> Rolls up. I'm tired of these goal. donuts, man, on this board. It's going to breadstick up there. Exactly. Same. Going to take that one nothing lead. You know, though, Arcadia's had plenty of chances this game. So in Rocket League, it takes one to two seconds to score, depending. And when the clock's at zeros, you have infinite time. Arcadia is going to get a close one across the net. There are no Saints able to get the touch. Nitrix is going to lose to 50. So immediately getting a couple shots at net. So the Saints got to make sure they clear this one out. And just the clock is your friend. So while you want to get that second goal and you really want to make sure you have the insurance policy, the clock is also your best friend right now. Although a second oh, goal is no nice way. too. Nitrix will take that one and score it. Great job off the interception. Just rips it into the back of the net and now possibly ripping Arcadia's heart out in game four. That was insane. I mean, I was not expecting him to get that. I yeah. thought there would be somebody else over there, but it looks like Autumn was a little too slow. Yeah, Nitrix, when you when you steal the ball from the backline defender, there's quite literally nobody else. So if you're able to get that perfect angle, that ball goes flying off the car there. Able to find the back of the net. Now Arcadia, they really got to start working and pressing this action. Now Comp is going to get the epic save. Going to play that one off the wall. Going to try to get the little fake out there. Not a lot of boost, though, so can't really do a whole lot. Space Beer going to come flying across. Great little chip shot off the crossbar. Spoods. Going to get just enough of it to try to get a clear toward the corner. I think the Saints are maybe decently boost on right now. Arcadia's been in their end for quite some time. They are going to get the clear out towards mid space. We're going to try to set something up over the middle. Unable to get the second touch. Demo will come through for the Spoods. And then Saints trying to close this one out. Yeah, it looks like Comp is going to try to go for a goal here. But Spoods, or Nitrix actually, tried to intercept. Nothing really happening. Spoods kind of keeping it all to himself right now. Keeping it away from Arcadia. But we might actually see Arcadia get a goal here. Yeah, just 35 seconds left. Arcadia trying to find one in the back of the net. And if they're not able to find one in the next 10, 15 seconds, it's going to be a pretty tall order to close things up. The Saints looking to get a third here. Just 25 seconds to play. And Saints goal looking to close out the one seed Arcadia and take a 3-1 series win. Yeah, right now Saints has a nice little cushion right here. Whoa. Oh, and just as I say that, Autumn wants to get rid of that. There is 16 seconds on the clock, but that is lots of time for yeah. one goal. Yeah, that is all day in Rocket League. We saw the Saints score with zeros on the clock last game. Great job by Autumn there to just thread the needle on that left side, squeeze the ball between the defender and the post. And now, just as you said, 16 seconds to play, and we will see which team is able to come out on top. Will we, good? Will we see game five, or will the one seed get upset by the 12 seed and go home 3-1? We'll have to see. Not Owl is going to stop that. Looks like they're going to try to get it up in the air as high as possible. You know, you want that. That way you're able to play. But they are getting pretty close to Saints net. We just need to keep it up a little longer, but it looks like this might be it. Unless... Wow. Oh my goodness, it's actually going to stay up in the air here. Space Beer tosses it over to the side of Saints, but Spoods Ooh. is going to end that. And Saints is going to take that home 
3-1. Yeah, so I'm immediately wrong. The 3-1 the to one prediction is actually going the other way, so we'll just have to reverse the footage later on and rewind it like a VHS tape. Exactly. So ignore that. Saints Gold, great showing to come out against Arcadia with, like as you said, the 3-1 series win. Everyone doing a fantastic job. Defense, offense, everything looked like it was working so well. Arcadia battled back really, really well there at the end. It came down to zero seconds in two or three of the games, but your Saints able to finally get their first win at CCA, and I'm sure that's got to feel good against the one seed. Oh, absolutely. I mean, what an upset. The 12 seed to the one seed. That's something you never hear of. Yep. So definitely a really close game there for Saints. Um, in the very beginning, they were doing great. And then as it went on, it was a little bit of like a, a tussle, you know, yeah. a little bit of a fight for them. But uh, they did manage to just squeak past there and get that 3-1. Yeah, it's always interesting to see how this series plays out. The Saints look so strong to start. Then there's like a game and a half of both teams have clearly figured each other out to some degree. And there's just not much happening because they're just, they both know where the ball's kind of going to be and everything. And then Gold just able to make those last few adjustments, find those goals and knock off Arcadia. And great job, great start to the night. Now we're going to be looking forward toward the green team who will be facing off against Stockton Blue, and that'll be up in a little while, and I think we're going to be able to cut to a break in a minute or two here, so we'll catch you guys after, and hopefully the green team able to replicate success of gold.